It was right after lunch. Antonio had left the school cafeteria because he was going to the school library to do some work on his math, since his next class after lunch break were math. When he arrived at the school library, he noticed there was no, almost no people there except the school librarian and a few other students. He picked a table and sat down and started working on it. After maybe just 20, 20 minutes or so, he was finishing his work and just sat there just to relax until the next class would start. When he heard a voice at a different table, he looked over and saw it was a girl that he knew. Her name was Sharon. She was about the same age, 18, as himself, and both of them were seniors. He knew a lot about Sharon. She is a, a very shy girl. She usually stayed most of her by herself by studying or reading. And even though that, unlike Antonio, he is a very outgoing guy. He has no problem to socialize with other students at the school. But he heard she was mumbling to herself of something. And he did notice that she was doing um, schoolwork herself. So he stood up and walked over to the table and asked, Hey, Sharon. She just like, huh? Ah. She just jumped up and because she didn't even hear them walked up behind her and like, oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to scare you. Um, do you need help or something? She was just looking at him a little bit scared and she said with a quiet voice like, no, it's okay. But he looked down and saw it was Matt. Oh, you have... Matt as well after cl the next class she shook her head and said no but just she just struggled with some of the math race recently her grades did the math was just not so good recently she wanted she got a C and she was hoping to get at least maybe an A or, or B at least then he said well how about this I can help you he was a straight A student he had no problem with no other subjects at the school. She was actually trying to then say that he she didn't need help. So she would try to figure out it by herself. But he said, okay, but if you need any help, just let me know. I'm always more willing to help you um, if this. She nodded and then he left. He didn't want to force her to, to just say yes, because it was not like his, his nature. And as he was leaving in the school library, he turned around and looked at Sharon, who still was sitting by the table with his with, with her back towards him. He was just smiling and thought to himself, like, she's a very beautiful girl, he thought, in the left. And he went to the next the next class, even though there was not until like ten minutes until it starts. But he was gonna be there and he was there by himself until another person showed up and that was a girl named Cassandra. Cassandra was around the same age as Sam, and he had known her for since the first year of high school, but there was a lot about her that's, that he didn't like much, because she was very outgoing and like himself, very social, and had no problems with being socialized by guys. But there was one other thing about her. She was very beautiful. And a lot of guys actually had tried to ask her out, but she's always said no to them. And he didn't know why, because she's beautiful and she's very social, very, very skilled in the, in the social skills. So why wouldn't she wouldn't even accept any other guys out? Even the quarterback of the school team had also asked her out, but he was rejected, which Surprised to him, he was a quarterback and quite handsome guy, so he was very stunned that even he got rejected. But when he saw her, she smiled and walked up to him and started talking to him as normal. So, you're having Matt? Uh, yeah, you do? Um, no, I'm just having English. Oh, I just, you know, want to talk to you before... This bell start ringing. Oh, right. you know, I don't mind. So, um, Antonio, yeah, um, do you have any plans for the weekend? 
she asked with a big smile. Um, I don't think so. Why? Well, I just wanted to ask if maybe you want to go out with me? Wait, what? Seriously? Yeah. Um, um, I'm a... Uh, he was really stunned because this was the first time he has ever heard of anyone like her was asking a guy out. After all, she had rejected almost every single guy who asked her out. And based upon he understand what at least what he knows, she never actually approached a single guy to ask him out. So apparently he's the very first, and he's like, um, "I'm afraid I had to say no." On this, she was stunned. Oh, may I ask why? Um, I just, I'm sorry, but I, uh, I'm not interested. I'm afraid. Sorry. She nodded to say that she understood and left. Shortly afterwards, another guy showed up. That was William, who is Antonio's best friend. Hey, Antonio! Long time no see, he said. Well, I saw you at lunch. Yeah, not that long ago, he said, but like a joke, joking around. So, did I miss something here? Uh, not much. Uh, Cassandra showed up. She asked me out, and I said no. That stunned William. Whoa, 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 back up. Cassandra. That Cassandra ask you out? Yeah. Hard bully, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, she's always been asked out by multiple guys, but she always rejected them. I can't even see, I never heard of her she approached a guy and even ask him out. But asking you out of all guys in school? I mean, come on, she even rejected the, the quarterback in the school. Yeah, right? I mean, what was it about me that that made so special? And you said no to her? Yeah, so what? I mean, come on. Come on, Antonio. She's the most beautiful girl. I mean, she's a very social. And I mean, like I said, she's beautiful. Who would not in a mind said, say no to her? Well, I did. Well, how did she take it? She was um, shocked, or at least surprised, because I thought maybe she expected me to say yes, but I I didn't. I said I wasn't interested. And right after the rest of that moment, they just could talk more about it. And after that, they just went to the class, and by the next day, when he got to school, he heard some students talking, and some of the guys actually walked up to him and asked, Hey, Antonio, is it true of what happened yesterday? Uh, you may have to be more specific what you mean, he said. Oh, um, but Cassandra asked you out, and you rejected her, or said no, that you weren't interested? He realized that, that William had told some of the students about this, which... It wasn't like a big secret or anything, and he's like, Yep, it's true. I said no, I wasn't interested in her. Those guys was like, Dude, how could you not, you not say yes? Considering how many guys she has said no to. You're the very first guy you has ever been asked by her. How could you not do? Well, it's simply, I'm not even interested in her. That's all. Wow. I mean... Come on, dude. If you try, if she asks you out again, just say yes. <sighs> Why should I? The guys was like, dude, how could you not? How could you even reject her? She is the most beautiful girl in the school. Like she's like an angel. An angel, maybe to you, or, but to me, it's just just another girl at the school. And in fact, I'm not even interested in her. If I would be interested in her, I would have been a long time ago. And, oh, let me guess, there's someone else in your mind? There were actually one, some other girl in his mind. That was actually Sharon. 
Turned out he was actually in love with her for less for but since about a year, just since. But he had even told that to anyone except William. And William was very surprised because he told him to, he told Antonio to just simply forget about her because she never talks to most guys that he, other than he, in class. She's always by herself. So she was like, well, maybe. But he said, when the other guys asked if there was someone else he had in mind, he's like, uh, not really. Just, you know, I not really focus much on romance at the moment. Just focus on the school that much. All right, then. He didn't just want to tell those guys about his open secret crush because they were simply just spreading this bad news around, around the school like a wildfire and eventually Cassandra would have find out. And as and William said to him the day before, Cassandra will likely would ask him out again. And just on the Friday, that actually happened just before he was about to leave the school. But he said once again that he wasn't interested in her. And this time, he could see that she was very hurt. She was almost crying, but he didn't say anything and he just left the school building and he was just standing there. But as he was just about to leave, he heard this thud, turned around and saw it was Sharon who dropped some of some of school bags, school books. He walked up to her and helped her. She said the things with a bit of a quiet voice. It's no problem. So, how has your day been so far? Did your did you have any improve your math recently? He remembered the time when he saw it in the school library. She nodded and said, it's the, at least a little bit. But he said, if you still need any help with the math or any other subject, he will always be there to help. He even gave her his phone number just in case if she needed, if he wanted to come over to her house or to his house. She blushed at a lot, actually, but she took the number and just left. And then, as they were standing, by him standing there by himself, he heard a voice behind him said, Come on, Antonio. Really? He turned around and saw it was William who stood there with a big grin on his face. What? I mean, you know I always help other students for help? Yeah, but her? I mean, I don't think she would even want this to actually approach you like this. You never know. Whatever, said William and shook his head and like, and both left. But that same Saturday, of that the blue, William Antonio actually got a call. When he answered it, he was expecting it to be William or some of his other friends. But it was actually a girl. At first he didn't recognize the voice, but, um, who is this? It's, it's me, Sharon. Oh, hi, Sharon. Uh, I didn't expect you to call me. Um, do you need anything? Or help or something? Yeah, uh, I have a little bit of struggle with my English, and since you offered to help me, do you... If you could still help me? Of course. Um, do you want me to come up to your house, or do you want to come to my, my house, or... Maybe the public library? Sure, I can go I can be there in what fifty minutes? Alright, see you there. He took his car and drove to the public library which in in the center of town. He was actually found her by a table and when he approached she actually was blushing. After that they said hello and both sat down and started working. After a while she actually had a hand over to some things. After they were finished, he asked her if she wanted to go somewhere, just maybe grab something to eat, just just a friend. She nodded and she was a bit hungry. And uh, as they were at this small cafe to just grab something to eat, he just asked her, You know, you're always by yourself at the school. You don't talk much about the people there. Why is that? I mean, I know that you're a very shy person, but... 
it seems to not be interacting with anyone. I mean, you're very social to me. She nodded and said that she is very shy, but she do had a few friends at the school, but she preferred mostly by herself. Ah, you thought you were the lone wolf type. <laughs> she giggled and said, Kinda. What about you, though? I mean, I see you often in the school library studying. Uh, yeah, I do study for upcoming test or or any um, you know next class used to be a discipline head an advance just in advance of it yeah I can see that so is it through the rumors that you reject Cassandra twice yes it is why I mean she is a cute isn't she well to be honest um you know, I'm not really interested in her. It's, um, it's someone else. She looked at him a little bit surprised and, oh? I mean, it's not my business to, to ask who it is, but it's okay. I can tell you. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't mind. Then, who is it? He took a sip of his drink and looked a bit more surprised and a little bit more blushing. And he said a little bit a quiet tone. It's you, Sharon. She looked at him big surprised. Wait, what, what? Me? She said, blushing a lot more. Are, are you serious? Definitely. I mean... I have been in love with you for, for over a year. For a year? But what's so special about me, if, if I ask? You're beautiful, you're smart, you're... You're good at all other kinds of things. I mean, I'm not good at studying. Well, I mean, you're a quick learner. And you don't have any problems to talk to people. I mean, if you get to know them better. Yeah, that's true. But, I mean, you really want to be with someone like me? I mean, I'm just like a, a nerd. To be honest, I wouldn't even care if you were a nerd or a popular girl or something. As long as you're yourself. You don't have to change anything about yourself to be with me. But, I get it. I get it, though. I mean, I know that you were probably wouldn't even be with someone like me, though. And then he just stood up and and he paid for his things and left. He just left like that before he could even answer. When he got home, he actually called up William on the phone. So, you need something? My best bro, he said a big chuckle. Ah, uh, not much. Just, just need to talk. Oh, all right. What is it? Well, I spent some time with uh, guess, uh, Sharon. Wait, the shy Sharon? Really? Yeah, she needed some help with some homework or some school subject. Ah, uh, okay. Well, I confess my feelings are. Whoa, 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 whoa! You told her, and how was her response to that? He asked. Uh, it was expected. She was very, um, shy for first. And I told her that I had stood that she may not even want to be with someone like me. And, you know, you simply that. Why? What did she say? I don't know. I just stood up and left. What? Antonio. Antonio, what in the world are you thinking? William screamed at the phone. Whoa, what was that attitude? My attitude? Listen to yourself. You told her and you said you didn't, that she wouldn't even mind to be with you and just left before she could even answer? What kind of attitude is that? What kind of behavior is that? 
Think about it. This is not like you. Yeah, well, what can I do? Just be your, be your honest yourself. Next time you see her, talk to her more this, about this. I'm sure I, I don't even go into. Listen to me, Antonia. If you don't do that, I will do it for you. You know I will. <laughs> you would even dare. Oh, do you think I weren't there? He said. Then Antonio realized William wasn't bluffing. He would definitely were telling Sharon more about this. Fine, I will talk to her on Monday. Is that fine what about you? Sure, but if you haven't told her or at least talked to her on Monday, I will talk to her about this on Tuesday. You heard, you have my word on that. All right. Fine, he said. On Monday, Antonio, after lunch, he looked. He went to the school library. He usually know that Sharon is often there, and she were. He said, "Ask if you could sit down next to her," and and she said yes. At first, it was silence between them, but then he brought a topic about what they talked about this past weekend. He asked her if what she thought about him in that if there were any romantic ways between them and she said there were actually about that she did think about it a lot after she left and he was a little bit surprised but he told her honestly that he would just understand if she just preferred to be friends and nothing more and then he was about to leave but he said no, I just don't want to be just be friends. I like it a lot, actually. He sat down again and asked her if she wanted to be his girlfriend. Just like that. She smiled and blushed and said yes, she would like that. And they started actually holding hands and it, it didn't take long for the whole school to find out about them be dating. The first person to actually approach... Antonio was Cassandra by, by the next day when he was by his own locker. Antonio, please tell me this isn't true. He turned around and saw it was Cassandra. Uh, about what? You and Sharon been dating? Don't tell me that's true. Be honest. Well, it's true. What? Why her and not me? I mean, I'm more beautiful than her. And she's not even that social like myself. She might not be social as you, he said calmly. But she is beautiful to me. And I love her. And I would even be with you. And since, I mean, why would I be with someone if I don't even like her the, the same way, even romantically? If only, I mean, for example, if we were dating, you loved me, but I didn't love you, what kind of relationship would that even be? And be honest, Cassandra, there are a lot of other guys in this school that likes you. You probably find someone even better than me. But I'm sorry, Cassandra, but it's true. I'm dating Sharon. And I'm not going to change my mind in that. I'm sorry. Then he closed his locker and just walked off. Cassandra was very heartbroken. And for the next several days, she tried to talk to him about this to give her a chance. But he always told her no, because he was dating Sharon. And eventually, she stopped. And even though some of the other guys had even asked him about this, and like, they were just curious to know why he had picked Sharon and not Cassandra. Even though Antonio did admit it that Cassandra is beautiful, but his feelings for Cassandra or is just more like as a friend, nothing more. He had never been interested in her. And eventually, Cassandra started actually talking to one other guy, 
that was actually the quarterback. He said asked her out again and surprised the most other guys in the school. She said yes. She kept to realize her feelings for Antonio wasn't actually real. She thought maybe that she was in love with him, but after her first stay at the quarterback, she realized it was just simply thought of feelings. She actually had more true feelings for the quarterback. When he, when Antonio walked into Cassandra one day in the hallway shortly after she saw Dana in the quarterback, she thanked him for being honest. And he said, just be honest about yourself. Be honest about your feelings. That's it. And that he said that he was happy for her. And the rest of the school year was went normally. Cassandra and Antonio remained as good friends. But after he finished high school, Antonio, he wanted to do something of his own, his place, in, in his future. He wanted to be something special. So, so Antonio, he had chosen business course at, as a major at college because he wanted to take over his family's construction company one day when his father retires. And during the final year of high school, Sharon actually had improved her social skills a lot more. And her dream to be, was to be a nurse. She wanted to help other people. Eventually, both Sharon and Antonio finished their college. And eventually, Antonio started working with his father in a business. And Sharon eventually became a nurse at this retirement home. She was just happy to help others. And about two years after they finished college, they decided to go get, get married. They have a small wedding, of course. William were Antonio's best man, and surprising to most, Cassandra. Cassandra was asked to be Sharon's maid of honor, which she accepted. They had a small church wedding and it was just perfect. And they eventually even went to Hawaii for the, just one week of their honeymoon as, as a gift from Antonio's parents. And just two years after they got, got married, Sharon and Antonio announced they were expecting their first child. And they were expecting a boy, which they later named Harvey, who was named after Sharon's paternal grandfather. Three years later, they had a second child, a daughter, which they named Violet. Both Sharon and Antonio were just happy to have found their true love. Antonio has always wondered if he had even confessed his feelings for Sharon. He wondered if he ever had would have been with her otherwise. But he was just happy to have confessed his feelings for Sharon. And Sharon herself was just happy that he did. Because she told him once that she had couldn't even imagine her life without him in his life, in, in her life. Because she was happy to have her true soulmate in her life. And this is how Antonio and Sharon for the true love got a big family together. The end.